guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are all doing really well. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing my very first fall inspired makeup look of the fall season. I'm going to be showing you guys how to recreate this look that I have on right now. And I'm really excited to share this look with you guys because I am obsessed with the way that it turned out. I absolutely love the gold. I love the dark vampy lip. Dark lips are one of my favorite things about fall, so I was really excited to jump into filming fall inspired makeup tutorials. So I really hope that you guys enjoy seeing me recreate this makeup look for you guys. Also this video is going to be a collaboration with Ashley. She goes by Ashley Bond Beauty here on YouTube. I actually met her at Generation Beauty and when I checked out her channel I was like oh my gosh I have to collaborate with you and I have to share you with my followers because she is amazing. She's so so beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Her personality is just as beautiful as she is on the outside and her channel is bomb she has tons of really great makeup tutorials she's really talented really amazing video quality you guys will absolutely love her so I had to share her with you guys I had to collaborate with her I was so happy that she was open and willing to collaborate with me and she is also going to be filming a fall inspired makeup tutorial as well so I will leave her link for you down below in the description box definitely make sure that you click on that head over to her channel and check out her makeup tutorial once you are finished watching this one. But before we get started, if you are new, hey, my name is Faye. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. I really hope that you do enjoy. If you do, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There will be a red button down below that you can click to subscribe. It will add you to my fam here on YouTube and will also make sure that you never miss a future upload. So if you would like to see how to recreate this fall inspired makeup tutorial, then please keep watching. Alright guys, so starting off with the eyes, the very first thing that I'm going to do is moisturize. I don't always show this step, but I do always do it, just to make sure that all of our shadows and everything goes on really smoothly. Once I apply that, I'm going in with my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Laying Low. This is the perfect shade for all of my women of color out there, and it's just a really nice eyeshadow base to smooth and even out your eyelid. So I'm just going to blend that out with my finger, and then apply a beige shadow to set it in place. Once I do that, I'm going to apply some tape to the outer edges of my eye to give us a nice, straight, sharp line. And then we're going to jump into the Juvia's Place Nubian 2 eyeshadow palette. The very first shade that I'm picking up is the shade Madagascar, and this is just a neutral brown. And I'm just going to buff and blend this pretty sloppily back and forth into the crease. This is going to be our transition, so it doesn't have to be super precise. And then I'm taking the smallest amount of the shade Morocco and applying it to the outer edge of my eye just to warm it up a little bit. So following that, I'm taking the shade Kenya. This is a deep matte chocolate brown. And I'm picking this up on a little bit more of a denser blending brush and I'm going to be applying this in the outer V of my eye and then as the product kind of starts to come off of the brush, whatever is left over, I'm going to slowly start to blend into the crease and then I'm going to go back in with my fluffy blending brush with no additional product and just make sure that everything blends nicely and there are no harsh lines. So following that, I'm taking the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I'm actually applying this with a lip brush to really cut and carve out the crease. So I'm going to apply it with the brush and then you will see me go in with my finger and just kind of dab and blend it out to make sure that it's blended really smoothly. And then following that, I'm going back into our Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette and taking the shade Nairobi. This is a beautiful, true, gorgeous gold color. And I'm just going to be applying this all over my eyelid, as you can see here, right on top of that shadow insurance by Too Faced. So I'm really wanting to cut that crease area and just really create somewhat of a more dramatic eye look with this. So I'm just going to apply that all over my entire eyelid and then I'm going to go back in with the shade Kenya and kind of create a little bit of a V shape with this shade. So as you can see I'm using patting or dabbing motions to apply the pigment and then once I've got it applied where I want it I'm going to start to blend it out. And then I did want a little bit of a deeper shadow in that outer V, so I took the smallest amount of black and I'm just applying this closest to the tape and then slowly blending it into that brown to create a nice gradient. So following that, of course, I'm going to go back in and blend everything out. We really want to make sure that we don't have any harsh lines, so make sure that you blend, blend, blend. And then after that, I'm going into this Maybelline eyeshadow palette or eyeshadow quad. I believe this one is Fall Temptation, but I will have it listed down below. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of that kind of greenish gold shade right on top of the shadow that we applied all over the lid. I thought it gave some really nice dimension. 
And then following that, as you can see, I went ahead and applied my liner and lashes off camera, and we're going to go ahead and move on to the face. So first things first, you guys know I have to prep my face with my Smashbox Primer Water. And then after that, I'm applying my Tarte Clean Slate Smoothing Primer to the areas where I have large pores and fine lines to fill them in and give us a nice flawless base. And then to control my oil, I'm using my Hourglass Mineral Veil. And I'm just going to apply this all over my entire face and blend it in with my fingers. And I like to blend this in right almost until it's almost dry. Not completely, but almost until it's almost dry so that it will still blend in with my foundation when I apply it. So following that, you guys know I have to do a little bit of color correcting using my NYX Dark Circle Corrector underneath my eyes and around my nose, blending that out with my finger, and then I'm going to be mixing two foundations today. I will have them linked for you down below, and bam, with the power of editing, we are all buffed and blended and ready to go. So moving on to concealer, I'm using two concealers from the Too Faced Born This Way concealer line. I'm applying this right underneath my eyes and down the center of my face. I like to mix a lighter and a little bit of a deeper concealer together to get my perfect concealer shade so as you can see I'm just applying that darker slightly darker concealer on all of the same areas and then buffing and blending it out with this new Real Technique sculpting sponge. I'm still kind of testing this sponge out but so far I do really like it. It's really great for highlighting and contouring so as you can see I'm just buffing all of that out and then I'm going to set it all in place and bake with my Sasha Buttercup powder and fill in my brows off camera. So next up, I'm going to set my brows in place. I'm using this brow gel by Benefit Cosmetics, and I'm just going to run this through my brows and make sure that everything is nicely tamed. And then I'm going in with a big fluffy blending brush. This one is from the Morphe Elite Collection, and buffing off all of that excess powder because we will no longer be needing that now that we're done baking, so I'm just buffing that all away. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm using my L'Oreal True Match Powder in the shade Classic Tan and another brush from the Morphe Elite Collection. I'm obsessed with these brushes. They are amazing. And I'm just going to pat this powder all over my face to set everything in place. So jumping back up to the eyes, the next thing that I'm going to do is apply this eyeliner by ColourPop. This is the black one, I believe it's in the shade Swerve, and I'm only applying this to the outer half of my eye and also buffing it down into my lashes. And then I'm going back in with the shade Kenya and a flat definer brush and really buffing and smoking this out. I really want the outer edge of my eye to be really smoky and then it to kind of fade into the inner corner, if that makes sense. So after that, I'm just going in with this kind of fluffy pencil brush and buffing everything out. And then I'm going to be taking the shade Zuri, which is a beautiful kind of champagne goldish shade. And I'm going to be applying this to my inner corner to highlight and also bringing it down on my lower lash line. And then taking the shade Nairobi again and blending that highlight shade into the matte shade on my lower lash line. So, of course, apply some mascara to your lower lashes, and then we can go ahead and move on to contouring. I'm using my Anastasia Contour Kit and another Morphe brush. I've been obsessed with my Morphe brushes lately. And I'm just going to be applying this all over my normal contour areas, hollows of my cheeks, temples, and the sides of my nose. And then for blush today, I'm using the shade Ambering Rose from MAC. And I'm just applying this all over my cheeks and buffing it back into that contour. So for my highlight today, I'm going to be using one from Gerard Cosmetics. This one is in the shade Audrey, and I'm just going to be applying this to the high points of my cheekbones down the center of my nose and also on my cubits bow. And then once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my lips. So since we are using a darker lip color today, the first thing that I'm going to do is line my lips. I'm using my Milani Lip Liner in the shade Coco just to map everything out. And then I'm going in with this Too Faced Melted Matte Liquified Lipstick in the shade Evil Twin. I initially wanted to go for a really deep, chocolate brown. This one ended up being more of a deep plum color. Luckily it still worked out. And then after that I'm going to set everything in place with my Scandinavia Makeup Setting Spray and then this look is complete. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed my first fall inspired makeup tutorial. Don't forget to head over to Ashley's channel to check out her video as well. Give this one a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye!